So we have Aubrey Plaza and Hugh Grant. We have Jason Statham in the Guy Ritchie movie. And we have a diversity hire. Hello everyone, my name is Max Aaron James. This is a review of the movie Operation Fortune, Ruth de Guerre, written by Ivan Atkinson, Marn Davies, and Guy Ritchie, directed by Guy Ritchie, stars Aubrey Plaza, Jason Statham, Hugh Grant, Josh Hartnett, and Bugsy Malone. Story is about Orson Fortune, played by Jason Statham, who teams up with some other operatives on an undercover mission to receive some technology that can lead to the collapse of the world order. So it can, it would lead to, I believe, the value of money to drop, and then I think it's something to do with gold would be the only thing of value or has any worth in the world after this, potentially. Coincidentally, I had watched The Man from Uncle the day prior, and I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the chemistry between Henry Cavill and Army Hammer. And so I was going into this optimistically. I was not really going into it the way like I had just seen Gentlemen. The title kind of makes sense, right? Jason Statham is the lead, but the way the story is presented is as if they're a whole team, right? There is no one particular person that stood out. Maybe Jason Statham got more screen time, maybe. He was definitely given the most action scenes, so there's that, but I think everyone worked well as far as the characters were written, and the cast, I think other cast members or other actors stood out much more. Hugh Grant is really fun to watch in these roles. His performances seem as though he's just enjoying being him and being there. He's just happy to be here, right? He's just happy to be in the movie and has, has fun. And same with Aubrey Plaza. She always brings in her personality, her charisma into her roles and into her characters so you know it's her. And I think there are a lot of actors or stars, I, I think that's what makes a star is when you do not necessarily have to disappear into the role when you can bring yourself and people still enjoy you. And I think Aubrey Plaza is one of those people. Which is a good thing because Hugh Grant and Aubrey Plaza had really good chemistry when their characters were in the same screen, were, the were sharing the screen together. I enjoyed it. And even when they were apart, when they were given certain jokes, they executed them well. Even if they did still fall flat. Now, for the first half of this movie, I was a bit worried because there was not many action scenes. The one action scene felt like it was building up to something, that, but what was given to us was a bit underwhelming and the jokes were falling flat. Actually, they fell flat throughout the whole movie, but thankfully for the actors and how they chose to execute the jokes and execute those scenes, some of them were get, did allow me to have a little sh chuckle. Especially with Hugh Grant, there's one scene where he has to give just a special, a certain, not a special, a certain facial expression and it was funny and Aubrey Plaza delivering her jokes or delivering her lines that were supposed to be funny, they were not laugh out loud or even a chuckle, but the way she delivered and the way she was acting made me appreciate the scene and made me appreciate her and, and show that she was at least trying, even if maybe she read the script and didn't think it would come off funny, but the way she acts, it was it was enjoyable. It's entertaining, and that's why I, I appreciated her and Hugh Grant. Now, Bugsy Malone's character, JJ, was given maybe one comedic scene. I think they wrote a couple jokes for him or put him into a couple scenes that were supposed to be funny, but I can't think of them because they probably were not funny. But he had one scene that made me laugh out loud, so I'm happy that he was given one of the funniest scenes. But he did feel like a diversity hire. He was probably the only black character I can think of, not just on the protagonist team, but actually of all the nameless, faceless characters throughout this whole movie, I do not remember seeing another person of color. I understand Aubrey Plaza, I believe, is you know could be considered a person of color but she's white passing so it really felt like they just had to check the box and they just had to add some color to the screen so they chose someone and they went with Bugsy Malone and maybe they did maybe they took away some lines because maybe they felt Bugsy Malone could not act well but they could have given him more because because I think it became more evident that he was just there for that because he was not given a lot of good moments or 
even many action scenes. I think he had only one that was notable. Jason Statham, he tends to do good in comedies, but you really have to tailor the role to him to make him stand out or to make him do good because or do well because outside of seeing him in fight scenes or in action scenes i do not really care for his acting it, whatever but i still enjoy seeing him in movies and we tend not to get the same liam neeson 50 cuts for a five second fight sequence again the first half had me concerned was falling flat was con was worried but then it picked up the pace in the second half which i do appreciate because i ended up leaving with a smile on my face because of how the third act ended up being it was fun action-packed a lot was going on and the twist of hugh grant's character at least how he was behaving i really enjoyed and was interested in it and there's also a there's also a competing team to orson fortune's team that is also going, having the same mission and I enjoyed that aspect and I think they could have done more with that. They did not do much with that but it was something I was interested in as well that they they missed that opportunity. One thing that is common with a couple of Guy Ritchie's movies, especially these undercover spy movies, is they, they build it up or they end it with the idea that there is more to come or that they're setting up for a potential sequel, which tends not to happen, I think partially because his movies do not make that much, even if they are enjoyable or entertaining. And maybe it's intentional to make you feel that, to make the audience get excited for what's coming next with no intention of actually doing it or actually delivering a sequel or prequel. Either way, watching The Man From U.N.C.L.E. and then watching this the day later made me realize how much or explain my taste and how and why I enjoy and appreciate the show Archer so much. Anyway, it was fun. I had a good time. I did not go in expecting any big philosoph philosophical thing. I also did not go in with very low expectations. I just wanted to be entertained, have fun, go on this adventure with these people and in these bright shots because I that's one thing I do like about Guy Ritchie is that he has a lot of bright and sometimes colorful shots and as long as it's good action and good lines uh, I'm fine with it anyway let me know what you think if you've seen it if not I mean I would not really say you should watch it but if you did you'd have fun until next time check up on one another check up on yourself I messed up that line be sure to take care of each other as well Remember, potential has no limit.